Now, on Sunday when I got home, like I told you, I was doing my normal routine, which about that time I was preparing dinner, right? Which is going to be some spaghetti and meatballs, right? So when I got home, even though it was a Sunday, I found a book I had ordered online, right? Again, right? In its little bag, right? From the Christian store I ordered it from, right? So obviously, mm -hmm, I opened it up mm -hmm, and got the receipt out, of that, mm -hmm, right, right, and took the book into the bathroom briefly, right, as I was preparing my uh, bowl, because with spaghetti from the can, you can just put it in a bowl, nothing fancy. <laughs> I'm an easy guy to take care of if you're a lady. <laughs> You ain't gotta do a lot to please me. But anyway. Unless you want to, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. So anyway, um, I put the book somewhere in the house, right? Somewhere where I could easily get it. Probably around my chair or something like that, right? And went to prepare the spaghetti, right? So, uh, then I'm waiting for the spaghetti, and as I'm eating the spaghetti, I notice the book's missing, right? I start looking for the book, right? So, where's the book? Where'd it go? <laughs> Look all around, right? Mm hmm I know I wouldn't put it, you know, too much out of place, but, you know, you even look under your clothes, but, you know, you didn't put it somewhere where you wouldn't easily find it either, right? Right? So that's what I mean. Right? So anyway, I look for it, right? and it's missing. Right? The whole book, like someone stole it somehow, right? But to steal it, they would have to get past me, right? Again, again, while I'm home, while you're home. <laughs> so again, I got proof, right? right? The book came Sunday, right? <laughs> Which is a Harry Potter thing, I guess. <laughs> Talking about witches. See, some Christians are confused about who Jesus is. They think like Paul, they can kill other Christians. No, you can't. No, <laughs> you can't. And see, Paul wasn't a Christian first. He was a Jew right? who converted to the way Jesus did things. Right? See, that might confuse you a little. <laughs> if you are thinking like that, <laughs> and you're a Christian, <laughs> That you can do what Paul did with other Christians. No, you can't. <laughs> then you're anti-Christian. Even if you're claiming to follow Jesus. Because that's no different than Jews who claim to follow the God of Israel. But don't acknowledge Jesus as the Messiah in the opinion of a true Christian anyway. Right. Okay. And so you can't have the second born over the first born or deny the first born as well. Mm -hmm. Why not? Mm -hmm. Well, he's the one whose image Adam was made in, right? See, even if Adam was formed independently of Jesus and Satan, you know, right? and say Satan formed his body and Jesus formed his body, God formed Adam's body as well from the dust of the earth. <laughs> So there were three mm -hmm, specific human beings in Eden, not two, not two, not one, three, three. Now, mm -hmm, one of them is called the tree of life. One of them is called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Mm -hmm. And one of them is Adam and Eve themselves. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, these three obviously had interactions with each other because... One voice is warning them not to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. <clears throat> then one voice is tipped to need to do it. That's talking to her as well. Maybe from behind the tree using its penis to lure her as a fishing <laughs> lure. And a, you know what I mean? As a fishing pole. <laughs> uses a worm <laughs> to catch a bait. Right. Well, like all human beings, right, 
what the fruit of the womb, <laughs> as Elizabeth said to Mary of Jesus, right? Blessed is the fruit of your womb. <laughs> And the child was in your belly, right? <laughs> well, that's the point. The fruit of the womb right. is another fruit. And Jesus was warning us not to do that with Satan, right? Because he would show us something both what? Good and evil, good and evil. At least in our minds, right? When he was done, we would think <laughs> one part of it was good and one part of it was evil. Mm -hmm. Right, right. That's also what I'm trying to explain to the homosexuals, right? Not that I'm gay, you know, but that I forgive their sin, right? See, you're not supposed to condemn any sin, not even homosexuality, according to Jesus, right? Because you're not God to judge anybody, right? And you're not God to make someone repent of it or not. You can't force someone to repent. You got to let them repent. <laughs> If they don't think what they're doing is wrong, either you got to work that out, right? Damn. That's the point. That's the point. But, mm -hmm, whatever, whatever. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, what Satan also taught us is to play God about it. Mm -hmm. To condemn the act as well. Mm -hmm. Not forgive it, right? And because of the unforgiveness between Adam, Eve, and Satan, right? Though Jesus, again, when he went to them, he gave them a chance to really confess it, right? But guess what? They didn't really confess what they really did. <laughs> How do you know that? Job tells you. Mm -hmm. He, according to Job, Adam hid his transgression in his bosom, right? Because he feared the condemned of families, right, of what he did, mm -hmm. which makes you wonder, well, what was it? Well, the Gnostics say, Nas, the angel, did him like a boy. <laughs> you know what that means to Coptic Greek, <laughs> or Greek men, right, maybe, maybe. Well, well, that's what it's implying, right, without, you know, being direct, <laughs> and coming out and saying, <laughs> see, the thing is, back then they were more sexually repressed than we are now, and suddenly we're breaking free from all that, especially during the 60s, 70s, and 80s. We're hitting our sexual revolution as well. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are more going gay now, right? A lot of people are turning away from religion, and that's because of Constantine's messing up the religion, right? See, there were two sects of Christianity by then, you know? Because there's two ways to interpret the Bible. Mm -hmm. In fact, what was going on is the Orthodox Jews started sealing the Bible. Mm -hmm. The first thing they sealed was the name of God. <laughs> and quit using it and replaced it with Adonai. <laughs> Adonai, right? <laughs> or Adonai, whatever you want to say. But anyway, anyway. <clears throat> But what it's supposed to mean is, Lord, Lord. Well, that's the problem God had with everyone anyway for worshiping a male image above its image because it's the spirit. Right? That's why Paul said to Jesus, there's either Jew nor Gentile, bond nor free, male and female, for you are one in Christ Jesus. Right? He also says, by one spirit are you all baptized into his body. Right? Well, Constantine and his church started downplaying what that meant, right? Therefore, by now, you don't understand that's literal. Right? You can literally, male and female, be baptized into the body of Christ. And you can also put on Christ. Because we are all Christ to Christ. Though he's above all through one in us all. He also transfigured or morph or transformed. Meta means two other people appeared with him and were talking to him, right? Now, the disciples, like I said, assumed it was Moses and Elijah, but it was Ish and Yolda, the young lady and the man, and Jesus is Gabor because a light came out of him. I know. When he did it, when he did it, 
Gabor can also mean something else. I know. Strong light. Strong light. Mm hmm. Hard. Mm hmm. Or mighty light. Now, what did Jesus say? A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Let your light shine before men. Shine before men. That's why I saw the light of the throne of God. <laughs> where God hovers above the throne as the light. As the light. It's not sitting on it for it say what, Spirit? It's a light of life. It's the bioelectric body um, in your heart that goes through your body, right? Into your mind, right? Where you function, right? See, some people argue if your life starts with the heart or the mind, right? Too, too. Well, the heart has to pump the blood to the mind for the mind to work, but you're to be transformed by the renewing of your mind as well, according to Paul, too, right? So that's the point. <laughs> See, the scriptures can be also divided wrongly or truthfully. But see, to murder someone is a sin for anyone. Mm -hmm. No matter what you think that person does, you're taking the law and playing vigilante to them, and that ain't your call. Mm -hmm. Like those trying to kill Paul. Mm -hmm. As well, once he converted too, right? But you're playing, okay, the unbelieving Christian Jew when you do that. If you try to kill people and you're claiming to be a Christian. Right? You cannot serve life and death. You cannot murder those who God did not appoint you to murder. And God don't appoint you to murder anyone. No. Though Satan does. How? By unforgiveness. Am I saying, you know, don't put the murderer to the electric chair? I don't know what to tell you about that. Mm -hmm. But the first thing you got to realize is God can resurrect the person the murderer murdered. <laughs> Do you understand? As they did, De as did Jesus, right? But how was Jesus resurrected? What did he say on the cross that really forgave them? Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Right. <laughs> That's what he said. If you're trying to kill me, you don't know what you're doing either, so I'll tell you that you don't know what you're doing. Right? right? <laughs> now, why would he take the book, though? Maybe I told him not to. <laughs> if you know what I mean, right? I told him, don't take the book, because if you take the book, I won't you were here, right? Because, again, he's challenging me for some reason, right? He's challenging me like I'm doing something wrong, right? When it's him, I know. So, he came to confront me over something. We got into a fight or an argument, and he must have blacked me out somehow, which I assume, since I took karate, is he shot me in the, with a gun. I can't prove it now, <laughs> Right? And the book is now missing from the house. And I done looked where I would naturally put it, which would naturally be somewhere around here, right? In this general area, right? So this is where I also opened the book, and this part is still here. But he didn't know where it was at when he took the book. <laughs> he, just took, he just took the book. Like all thieves, like all thieves. He took that which I told him not to take because if he took it, I will know he took it. And then when I'm back, I'm resurrected. And he'll like the Wolverine. And I will know he took the book. <laughs> he took it anyway. He took it anyway. <laughs> you understand, right? Otherwise, I wouldn't still have the receipt which you wouldn't know where, it was, where that was at. And I would also wouldn't have the um, package it came in, right? Still, still. So, two of the things I still got, right? Obviously, in the house, right? But the main thing that I ordered is missing the book itself, right? But I do not know how it disappeared, right? Unless someone came to the door and got to a confrontation with me and shot me or something, right? They didn't even want to fight fair either because they were afraid I could beat them. <laughs> like I told you that now. I can't tell you who it is either, either. I don't know if he had a silencer on the gun or what exactly. <laughs> but usually, if you're messing with someone who takes karate, what do you think is the one thing that can beat someone who takes karate and 
most normal people wouldn't argue with you about a gun. A gun. <laughs> right? <laughs> you see what I mean? Right. So whoever it was, and they caused me brief amnesia, right? Too, too. Which is where I'm, you know, talking about the book being missing, right? Now, of course, I'm cooking my meal, so I'm not going to pay it, you know, too much worry about it until after, right, I'm done eating, right? <laughs> and I cooked a couple things. I also cooked that um, little corn uh, and cheese mix, little patty-like thing, right? And it has some cheese on it, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and again, right? Um, though I ate that later, because I, after I ate the spaghetti, I noticed that the gun, the book was missing, right? And see, the only reason he would take the book is again, right? I told him not to, if he was to shoot me or something, right? Because I would know I was missing, and I would let people know he took it, right? <laughs> Which is all I could do, right? If, if someone steals the book from your house, and you know you are a big enough person that you can kick somebody's ass if you had to, right? There's only one thing they can use against you, a gun. A gun. <laughs> right? Right. Are you with me so far, right? <laughs> so, if they know I took karate, right, and know I can handle my own, and know I'll just wait for them to throw the first punch, right? Right? <laughs> That's what a karate person does who practices self-defense, right? Alright, I'll wait for him to throw the first punch. I don't throw the first punch, right? Though it's my house, right? I can defend it legally. <laughs> Though all I got, like I said, was swords around the door. Mm -hmm. And like I said, whatever the issue was, if he wanted to fight, if he wanted to do this, that, or the other, he had to cheat to actually black me out. Mm -hmm. And if he cheated the Lord, he'll be like the Wolverine. And within a few minutes after he was gone, because like I said, I just went back to what I was doing after the Lord healed me as well. Once the book was determined to be missing too, right? That's when I started questioning what was going on here, looking for the proof that I even received the book, which is this right here, right? And look for the book like the woman searching for her missing coin, right? As referenced from the Bible as well. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm showing you is everything the Bible says, right? And why it applies to Jesus, right? Even Isaiah 42, 12 through 14. Right? Mm -hmm. And also Isaiah 60, 60, which they changed in the Septuagint, right? When they interpreted that. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. they changed it from the, you shall suck the breast of kings to riches of kings, right? You would inherit, right? I know. Not the no. breast of kings, right? That should be masterly there, or masterly, right? Because it's a singular suckling breast as used by Luke in 1127 and 2329, right? So again, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet either. <laughs>